Imperial officers of the Galactic Empire were a part of the authority structure that oversaw both civilian and military commands, depending on where they were stationed, as well as their specific roles within their sector. So when they weren't leading their troops into battle, or ensuring the civilian population was meeting the Empire's quotas, what did Imperial officers do in their free time? Well, this all depended on where they were stationed, and how flexible their highest ranking officer was. For example, during the early years of Imperial control on Ryloth, the officers enjoyed far more freedom than many of their counterparts that were stationed on other planets. This flexibility attributed almost entirely to Ryloth's moth, named Delian Moors. She was incredibly lazy and barely cared about what the officers she oversaw did. As long as there weren't any large-scale uprisings on the planet, she couldn't care less what her subordinates did. She herself mainly remained in her massive palace that was located on Ryloth's moon, where she spent most of her time eating and being pleasured by her many, specifically green-skinned, Twi'lek servants. The lower-ranking officers that were stationed on Ryloth also took advantage of the planet's cultural practices by spending much of their off-duty time in the many brothels that were located within the main cities. Nearly all the officers that visited these brothels tended to get quite drunk or spiced up and had their way with the young Twi'lek girls that worked at the establishments. Actually, the officers that were stationed on the planet eventually delegated much of their peacekeeping responsibilities to the locals by creating task forces that were made up of Twi'leks that were loyal to the Empire, so they wouldn't have to do the tedious job of patrolling the streets themselves alongside the Imperial troopers they commanded. This laid-back attitude of course ended up hurting them in the long run, as the rebel group known as the Free Ryloth Movement grew in size over the years, to the point where they were able to bring down a Star Destroyer that was transporting Emperor Palpatine during his visit to the world. Things quickly changed after that incident, however, with Moth Moors taking her job very seriously after being given one more chance to rule the planet afterwards. Another place where Imperial officers had a very sweet time to be at was Scarif, Due to being an entire planet that was dedicated to safeguarding the Empire's secret projects rather than ruling over a populated planet, the officers stationed there never saw any conflict up until the Rebel Alliance attack during the events of Rogue One. This led many senior officers to go out of their way to get stationed on Scarif, treating it as an unofficial retirement and vacation spot where they were known to pretty much neglect their duties and bask in the comfort of the tropical planet. When it came to places where the Imperial leadership took its duties seriously, officers were held up to a much higher standard and had stricter guidelines as to how to behave when off-duty. For example, those who served under Tarkin had no room for any nonsense, even during their free time. Once during a surprise inspection, one junior officer was discovered to have been snorting illegal spice when off-duty by Tarkin, who ridiculed the young man for his lack of professionalism before sending him to the brig where he was likely expelled out of the military afterwards. In general, officers were given a couple days a year to take off to meet with their families or friends if they wished, but this action was usually discouraged by the higher-ups, especially during the Galactic Civil War where commitment to the war effort and the Empire was valued over everything else. Drinking at local cantinas or at the bar stationed within the Death Star were also things officers did in their free time. There was also once an officer who gave a few credit chips to a homeless woman when he walked by her on an impoverished world he was stationed on, giving the possibility that some officers may have helped out the poverty-stricken locals of their planets when off-duty. And finally, officers that accomplished extraordinary tasks or had an overall high performance within their respective field were usually invited to the Imperial Ball that was held on Coruscant during Empire Day as a reward. At the party, they were able to meet and socialize with the Empire's most renowned individuals, dance on the ballroom floor among the elite, and consume some of the finest wines and food the galaxy had to offer. Thanks for watching this video. Help support the channel by becoming a member on our Patreon page, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.